Good morning students of class 10. Now today we will do English test text. The poem Fire and Ice. Yesterday we have done about the dust of snow. Now here is a poem you have in your book. Here is a meaning. Desire means passion. Have tasted means from my experience. Hold with, stand with, perish, die, come to an end. P R I S H, perish. Suffice, sufficient, enough. So that's the meaning. You learn that. You can pause the video and copy this out point if you want. It will help you. Now, here we are talking about the poem Fire and Ice written by Robert Frost. Here the poet has compared or linked powerful elements of nature such as fire and ice with human emotions and behavior. What does he think? What he wants to tell us? Let us go through these points. Number one, points poet's view, what he thinks. Poet supports those people who believe that the world will come to an end with fire. Some people say that the world will end with ice. So poet supports those who believe that this world ends in fire. Some say they end in ice. So he supports those people who says that the world will come to an end due to fire. Fire means, what does he mean by fire? Fire is an element of nature, but he compares with human behavior and emotion. Let's see. Fire means uncontrolled desire for something. When people have uncontrolled desire for power, for things, material things, so cause, these are ultimately the cause of destructions. When he cannot fulfill his desire, ultimately he gets upset, he remains unhappy and he cannot do the work and this brings poverty. Again he compares ice that represent cold, insensitive. A person who doesn't think about others, that's called insensitive. That doesn't, those who do not feel they are insensitive and hate to hate some people they hate they have the habit to hate things they hate people they hate to work they hate certain things it is their habit unknowingly some people they hate they do not like so this is this represents ice these lead to cold reasoning and thought when you are insensitive when you have hatred naturally you cannot think properly cold reasoning you cannot reason also and consequently you cannot think properly and everything spoils gets damaged and it will bring doom to your life so these can bring an end to this world so much of destruction, so much of disturbances, so much of problems around the world. Why? Because the people are insensitive. Because of that, there is a lot of confusion in the world. Ultimately, they will fight among themselves and come to an end. So that is the cause of destruction, fire and ice. The poet links these two elements Fire and ice, they are the strong, powerful elements of the nature. Fire and ice of nature to human emotions and behavior. So the writer wants to tell us that we must control our emotions. We must control ourselves, mind and body. Then only we can survive. If we have no control over our mind and body, then surely, definitely it will bring destruction to ourselves and to our family and to the country as well as the whole world. So that is the theme and the idea of yeah, views of, that's the view of the poet. He wants to tell us that we must have control over our mind and body. 
otherwise it will bring us ruin because some people say that the world will come to an end in fire because people are uh, insensitive people have strong desires they want to fulfill uh, their desires they do not think about others they are so selfish that is ultimately that will also ultimately bring destruction and some people they say that the world will come in uh, come to an end in ice so that means people are inconsiderate they do not think about others in this way also it will bring ruin and destruction to the world to the uh, person to the family country and the world ultimately so that is the writer wants to convey the message to us so that we can learn control our mind and body that's all for today welcome in the next class thank you very much for watching the video and uh, we keep on studying all the best do your work properly